COVID-19 checkpoints up and running again in Pattaya, along with overnight restrictions asking people to stay home and a record new high of 513 new confirmed COVID-19 cases. Hey there everyone, I'm Adam and you are tuning into TPM Media. As of this morning, the Chambre Department of Public Health announced 513 new and confirmed cases of COVID-19. Uh, now, the majority of these are still coming from work-related sites, many of them with migrant workers, such as factories, industrial estates, markets, and related areas. However, the cases have been rising on a regular basis, as has timelines, with many timelines released today showing stores, retail stores, and malls and other locations throughout the area. Now, as these cases rise, of course, many people are concerned. Could this mean that Chanbury, which includes Pattaya could be moved to a dark red province. For our listeners and watchers who are not aware of what a dark red province is, Thailand essentially categorizes all their provinces based on not just number of cases, but also vaccination levels, hospitalization levels, uh, testing, tracing, and a variety of other factors. So it's not just cases. However, Chambury has had a high number of cases, and there is some concern that this could move us from where we're currently, a red province, to a dark red province. What would this mean in layman's terms? Well, what that would mean is that, unfortunately, things like dining at restaurants would have to close more than likely, along with some of the places that are open right now that would be considered high risk, such as gyms or massage shops for foot massages. And yes, it could even even see restrictions come back to the beaches and swimming pools, which were enormously unpopular. For now, though, we've seen checkpoints return, as you see in the video footage you're watching. These checkpoints were running as of last night. These are not strict checkpoints like they were last year, in which you need documentation to go through the checkpoint. Last year, many people complained that lived in eastern Pattaya, or the so-called dark side, that they were unable to come to central Pattaya without documentation. That's not the case. These are so-called soft checkpoints. They're primarily looking for migrant workers being shuttled to and from construction sites in other areas and illegal workers who may have entered the country without a quarantine or COVID-19 testing. There's also a stay-at-home request overnight from 9 o'clock p.m. to 4 o'clock a.m. That is not a hard stay-at-home, but as pretty much everything is closed in the area after 9 o'clock, you pretty much have no option but to stay at home. You may also be asked if you go out for what the purpose of your visit is and where you're going and why it's necessary as everything's closed, even gas stations. For now, we ask all of our listeners and watchers to stay safe, take care of yourselves and each other. If you haven't liked, followed, or subscribed yet, we invite you to do so. We hope you have a very safe week ahead.